everyone, and welcome to Under the Radar, a great new show focusing on the upcoming musical talent that you may not have heard of yet. But you'll be glad when you do. We've got two great acts performing here today, and they'll be chatting exclusively with us. Andy Ashworth will be performing for us later on. But first, you don't want to hear from me all night. Let's let the music do the talking. Introducing the incredible Dylan Cassin. <laughs> Once again at this time in your life You're looking for some peace of mind Or a sign that shows it you're not alone Show me a way I can climb Out of this frame of mind I want some guidance to get me Fantastic, mate. Please take a seat. So, watching you out on the stage now, I can see you've got a real passion for music. So the question I want to ask you is, where did it all begin, really? Well, I think it really began, as it does with most people, 
listening to music, pretending to play in front of your mirror and yeah. things like that. But uh, when I was about 16, I heard Jimi Hendrix for the first time, and that just inspired me to pick up and oh, really? learn the guitar, and so began the obsession with music. That's amazing. So obviously, it sounds like Jimi Hendrix is a big influence in the music you have. Yeah. Are there any other influential figures, you would say, which uh, colour the music you perform? George Harrison is, George Harrison, is really? a really big uh, obsession of mine. He's uh, it's mostly, you know, because he comes from sort of the same background. Working uh, class. Yeah, working sort of class thing, from yeah. Liverpool. And I just love his music, love the Beatles and just big, big hero of mine. Fantastic. Yeah. So obviously you were part of the band The Arcanes. Yeah. Fantastic band, heard their music. And the question is, obviously, do you tour with The Arcanes? Yeah, we, we toured, um, toured Germany frequently, wow. but uh, we also had a very, very brief stint in uh, America. Wow, which, that, well, America, wow. It, it, was all, it resulted in a deportation due to a I thought there was a story in this. Visa, I thought there was a story yeah. in this deportation. What happened? Well, I had the wrong working visa and it just ended up getting caught at an airport and sent back home with an arm desk up back to the plane. Arm desk so, up? Yeah, wow, that's uh, one way yeah. for a band to leave America, I to know. be honest. Yeah. Getting chucked out. Yeah, well, we, we, were going, roll style. we were going back to the um, plane with our guitars and things like that and you had people coming up to us, we were waiting on the plane because they seen the police with the arms and guitars, they were like, Excuse me, are you uh, are you anyone famous? <laughs> he was like, no, I'm just getting just getting kicked oh, out the country. Yeah, 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 we are. Could have got, got a few drinks everywhere. Yeah, could have got a few free drinks out of it. Like, but, uh, <laughs> no. so did you tour a lot around the UK as well? Uh, yeah, we played the odd gig, we played the odd show, but we had the record deal in Germany, so it it was mainly just sticking to mainland Europe, like Holland, Germany, Switzerland. Yeah, yeah, so just sticking to that really. So. It sounds like you've done quite well for yourself. Obviously, touring around America, touring around uh, Germany as well, and England as well. But would you say there have been some obstacles in your life that have made it hard for you to follow this career you wanted to follow? Yeah, I, th I think coming from the background that you come from, the working class, it's not so hard. It's, it's quite hard to get a foot in the door because it, it's so motivated by money now, the music industry, so unless you have the money behind you, then it's very hard to go out and tour because it costs a few grand to go out and do like a full tour. Yeah. If you want to travel, you have the instruments, the car, yeah. hotels and things like that. And it's it, the music industry is so diluted now. It's just, um, yeah, it really is a big obstacle if you haven't got that support behind you. Would you have any tips for anyone who was just starting out and they wanted to know how to get into it or what they should do? Just do as many gigs as you can in as many places as you can. And just so it's sort of like honing in your, your craft? Yeah, sort of exactly. Practice. And if you practice, just the practice makes perfect. Get yourself established as a live musician and then do that before you go in the studio more than anything because then you get a grip to, you, you get a, accustomed yeah. to playing live and that just makes you so much more of a better musician yeah. than if you were to just go straight into the studio like someone like on the X Factor yeah. or or the voice or anything like that. Fantastic. One more question, Dylan. Is there any websites or places that people can find you, find your music? Yeah, I'm on, I've got a page on Facebook yeah, under my name, Dylan Casson. Yep. And I have a SoundCloud under the same name as well. SoundCloud.com forward slash Dylan Casson. That's great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Well, it's time to introduce the second act of the show. Performing for us live, Annie Ashworth, everybody. You said you would carry me way to the world, to the fantasy I don't believe your lies Heartbroken as there a cure When you look into the mirror you will feel assured You gotta take a step to realize When the world rolls over and the curtains call You won't see my face
you choose what you make of it You don't wear the shoe if it doesn't fit It's time you check the size You've been chained to the wall trying to find the cause You don't leave now, you're only full remorse And that, my friend, will hurt inside When the world rolls over and the curtains call You won't see my face anymore I'm going home to the place I am To feel alive again, to feel my soul Fantastic performance, and he actually had a hero. That's great, mate. Really well done. Please take a seat. So, me and Dylan, fantastic performance out there. Really, really good. Um, the question I'll ask you is where did it all begin for you? I was about 18, and um, I had a roommate, and uh, he listened to a lot of Oasis, so it sort of influenced me to listen to Oasis. I had no choice. <laughs> Forced uh, to the Yeah, in a way, in a sense, <laughs> it was, yeah. And uh, yeah, I went to the, me, uh, me local cash generator bought an acoustic guitar and just learned myself, just taught myself, and uh, here I am. Well, awesome. So Oasis is one of your favourite bands. Yeah, without a doubt, yeah. Uh, anyone else who like maybe inspired um, well, you to become what you are? I like, I, like the, I, mean, I like the local bands as well. I mean, I think they're really talented. I just think the media, obviously, you concentrate on a certain type. But, um, yeah, local bands uh, such as Arcanes and... Yeah, I've um, heard that you yeah, two yeah, yeah. actually know each other slightly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well... Um, I heard there's something about what... You used to listen to arcade music. Well, yeah, I mean, like, I had this, um, I had one of their songs as my alarm song when I was in high school. <laughs> so you used to wake up listening yeah, yeah, to yeah. Dylan every day. <laughs> well, yeah, it was, it was, it was quite a surreal moment. I, 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 I well, am here now. you are today. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you've made it now. You're on the same sofa. <laughs> that's this, I mean, so that's, that's the good like, thing. So where do you normally perform? Um, well, I, I play in like venues such as local pubs, coach house, Tanner, things like that. But I busk as well. You busk? Like, yeah, I do a lot That's of awesome. That's really cool. You must meet some really, say, yeah. some characters. Well, yeah. Um, I, I, meet a lot, I meet a lot of drunk people. Um, Any examples of stuff well, that's there's, happened? There was a guy, um, I was in South Point, and some guy coming up to me, started dancing, took a five in him. I'm like, oh, happy days, but I could smell the ale on him. And then <laughs> I, I seen him get a tenor out. I was like, no, 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 no. And he was getting a bit in my face. And I was like, listen, I'm trying to play here. And he was trying to strum my guitar. And I was like, give it a, give it a break now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the end, I either got arrested. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, long, long story. But uh, yeah, it was good experience. Good experience. Yeah, you meet like loads of nice people. So oh, you should go on the X Factor and things like that. But that's another story. Another story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's it, man. So obviously, currently, you've released those songs. You've got new, any new albums or songs coming out? Um, well, I'm working on an album at the moment. So I've got a lot of material I'm, I'm working through. And uh, hopefully, it's going to get there. I've got a Britain's Got Talent audition next oh, week. Oh, really? So, wow. Yeah. Well, good luck. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks, thanks very much. Yeah. Hopefully, it kicks off. I mean, I auditioned last, last year, but I think it's all image-based and... Uh, Obviously, uh, money based as well, so they want a bit of entertainment and not a serious musician as such. Myself, and yeah, go on. Yeah, Dylan, you got any songs, albums coming up? Yeah, I'm working on an EP at the moment that is going to be released. The uh, main single is going to be Tides, which is what I played before, yep. and uh, that'll be online sometime January, February 2016. Yeah, so make sure everyone stays in yeah. tune to that, really. Yeah, no, that's really good to be honest. So, where can the people go and find you both? Uh, in the future or coming up soon? Well, uh, Scamsdale is where we're usually based, but um, well, where I'm based. Yeah. But uh, I like to try and get around Liverpool and hopefully you get down south as well. Um, yeah. Come to Essex, you can come and visit me. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah, I, mean, I can come and see you guys. Yeah, you can like, a few gigs up here. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, try. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, yeah, I can't yeah. promise anything, but I'll try my hardest to least. All right, so yeah. I'm, oh, awesome. I'm up for that one, yeah. No, good. I would love that. It'd be great. Dylan, anything coming up? Uh, yeah. To coincide with the EP release, hopefully I'll be uh, going on tour 
around the UK and then wow. through to Europe again. Amazing, fantastic. Yeah. Right, Andy, if you want to shoot off and get ready, get everything sorted. Everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks to both our guests for being on the show. We have one more treat for you. Playing us out, Andy Ashworth, everyone. <laughs> to